Okay, video two for this section of surface area and volume is surface area of a rectangular pyramid. So the first one we did had a square base. Um, I even still have this little thing here and it had a square base. I don't have a, um, an actual physical um, uh, example of a rectangular base, but it'd be when the base is a little bit longer. So it would still go to a point, but instead of the base being a perfect square, it would be a rectangle. So the pictures are a little bit easier to tell on that. You can tell it's longer. It's a 16 by 8 instead of a 16 by 16 or instead of an 8 by 8. So the formula for this is just a tiny bit different, and I didn't really leave you a spot to put that. So I want you to find a space at the top of your paper, and I want you to put area of the base, so we're still doing that, plus the triangle, the first triangle, which by the way is its length times width, plus the second triangle's length times width. Okay, so we're gonna be adding three things. We're gonna be adding the area of the base, once we calculate that, plus the first triangle's length times width, plus the second triangle's length and width. So now that you have this kind of at the top of your paper, let's go down and I'll show you what I mean. Let's look at example one. So the area of the base, base is length times width of what it's sitting on. And the length is 16 and the width is eight. So that's gonna be a 16 times eight. And we are gonna add to that triangle one Triangle one, I'm just gonna call the front triangle. You could have made your side triangle, triangle one, it doesn't matter. But the front triangle's um, length and width, and actually I should have probably called it base times height. In fact, let's go change that to B and H. B and H, sorry. Base times height, base times height. It's still the same thing getting multiplied, but it makes more sense to call this the base and this the height. So we wanna do triangle one's 16 times 11. So 16 times 11, that's your base and that's your height, plus triangle two's base times height. So that's this one on the side over here. Base is eight, height is 13. So eight times 13. Now some of you might be saying, well, in the previous one we did one half because it was a triangle, which is one half base times height. The reason you don't have to one half these two triangles is because there's actually two of them. There's one on this front side, and then there's one on the back side also. It's the, the two sides of the triangle's backs. So we don't have to half it because there's two of them. So we're just gonna do the full length and width so that it makes up both of them. Okay, so the base is 16 times eight. 16 times eight is 128 plus 16 times 11 is 176 plus eight times 13 is 104. Now, I, I wanna make sure you guys know, you have to do order of operations. You have to multiply this, multiply this, then multiply this before you go back and add. Order of operations says multiply comes first and then add. So now we have these three numbers and we are gonna add them up to get our total surface area. So 128 plus 176 plus 104. And that is 408 total square feet. Okay, so the surface area is 408 feet squared or square feet. Okay, let's try the next one. And once again, I'm kind of running out of room. Here we go. So for the first one, the area of the base is length times width of the base. So this is a four by three. So four times three. To that, we wanna add our triangle one's base times height. So I'll just use the front facing one. So the front facing one is a three by six. So three by six, three times six. Plus triangle two, which is the side facing one, that is a four by seven, so four times seven. And then all we do is multiply these each first and then go back and add. So four times three is 12, three times six, six, did I do that right? Yeah, three times six is 18, just making sure. 
And then four times seven is 28. So then we're just gonna add those three up. 12 plus 18 plus 28 is 58 total. So 58, this one is inches squared or square inches, 58 square inches. Okay, so this one's a little bit easier, I think. I don't know, one of our easier ones. All right, last one, surface area. First, we're gonna take the area, the area of the base, which is length times width of this, of this rectangle. So that's an 11 by 15. To that, we're gonna add triangle one's length times width or sorry, base times height, sorry, I keep saying that. Base is 15, height is 13. So 15 times 13. And to that, we're gonna add our last triangle twos, base times height, which is 11 by 14. So 11, I'm running out of room here. 14, oh, went on to the next page, that's okay. All right. I don't know what those are, so I'm gonna use my calculator. 11 times 15 is 165, plus 15 times 13 is 195, plus 11 times 14 is 154. Okay, so I'm gonna take those three numbers and I'm gonna add them up. 165 plus 195, plus 154 gives us a grand total of 514, and this one is yards squared. So 514 square yards. Okay, this is the point in our lesson when after three examples, since it's just the same thing, I really want you to try the three that are on the next page on your own. If you absolutely need help, you can watch the video, but this is a really good time to pause and see if you can try numbers four, five, and six on your own. If you are not quite ready to try them on your own, um, I will work through them with you, but again, you're gonna have to take a test over this, so I really want you to remember how to do this. So the first one is just area of a base, which the area of this base is a 14 by 13, so that's 14 by 13 plus triangle one's base times height, which is 13 by 13, plus triangle two's base times height, which is 14 by 12. So 14 by 12. Okay, 14, I have no idea what these are, so I'm gonna use my calculator. 14 times 13 is 182 plus 13 times 13 is 169 plus 14 by 12 is 168. So I'm going to add these three numbers up to get our grand total. 182 plus 169 plus 168. 519. So if you did this on your own, I hope you found that it was total of 519 square inches. All right, number five, the area of the base. This rectangular base is a nine by 16 plus triangle one is a nine by 12. And again, if you chose 16 by 10 first, it doesn't matter because later we're gonna be adding. And if I added these two numbers first versus these two numbers first, you're gonna get the same total answer. So I'm gonna go with a nine by 12 for my triangle one, but it doesn't matter if you did 16 by 10 as your triangle one, instead of me doing it as my triangle two, I promise we're gonna get the same answer, just watch. So nine by 16 was our base. That is 144 plus nine by 12 was my triangle one, 108. Your triangle one might've also been that one or it might've been the 16 times 10, which is 160. So when we go add these three, the order of which you adding them doesn't matter. 
144 plus 108 plus 160 is the same thing no matter what order you add them in. And the grand total is 412. The label is yards, so that would be square yards since it's area. So 412 square yards. Okay, very last one. First you have the area of the base, which is a 10 by 7. Plus, triangle 1's base times height, I'm going to do my 10 by 7. That's funny, another 10 by 7. Plus, triangle 2 is my little side one over here, is 7 by 8. So, 7 times 8. So, 10 times 7 is 70, plus 10 times 7 is 70, plus 7 times 8, I think, is 56. So we're just going to go add those three totals together. 70 plus 70 plus 56 is 196. And it's feet squared, so 196 square feet. All right, you need to go show your teacher that you did all three of these and check in with them before you move on to the um, assignment.